Hello, my name is Jordan Visco. Welcome to this video demonstration of uh, integration that uh, our company ClinicAid has built with the open source Oscar EMR program. Um, right here I am uh, at an Oscar login page um, which is hosted by oscarhost.ca and um, I'm going to just log in by clicking the sign in button and that's going to log me into this Oscar instance uh, landing on the schedule page. Um, to get a bill created in Clinicaid from Oscar, all I have to do is click the B button, and instead of loading into Oscar's billing page, uh, this Oscar instance is going to load me into the Clinicaid page. Um, now, the first thing that I wanted to say about the integration that Clinicaid has with Oscar is that um, we've had to make a few small modifications to Oscar in order to make this integration work. Uh, mostly, what we've done is we've redirected these links. <clears throat> so instead of redirecting this to the Oscar billing page, we re redirect it to the Clinicaid billing page. Also on the Encounter screen, if you click the Sign, Save, and Exit button, um, that's actually or Sign, Save, and Bill button, that's going to go billing into Clinicaid. If you go to the Demographic Master file, um, there's some billing links here as well. And um, instead of these being Oscar billing links, this, these billing links are now for Clinicaid. And as well, if you go to the Admin section, <clears throat> there used to be a whole host of billing options here, and those are now handled within Clinicaid. Um, we can, if you are um, wanting to save your old Oscar billing information, we can add an old billing tab here, which will give you access to your old Oscar billing reports if you're migrating from an Oscar instance that was using Oscar billing to an Oscar instance that's now billing through Clinicaid. So that's an option as well to have your old billing information uh, in here, but we don't have any in this uh, demonstration instance. And then also if you run a billing report up top, um, it'll show you your un unbilled appointments and uh, you can bill right from those unbilled appointments into Clinicaid. And that's pretty much it. Um, we've just redirected a few of the links um, and hidden a few and um, it's a pretty small uh, modification. Uh, these modifications that we've made, we make publicly available. Um, so just contact us through our website, clinicaid.ca. Uh, there's a contact link on the top, and uh, we will get you, or if you're using an Oscar service provider, we'll get them uh, the code modifications that they need in order to have Clinicaid work. We are working with uh, McMaster and Oscar EMR to get Clinicaid uh, integrated into the source code of Oscar and uh, it's actually in the trunk code at the moment and it looks like it's going to be released with the next full version of Oscar. Uh, once that happens you'll be able to just turn it, turn Clinicate on in your Oscar properties file and contact us for an access code when you're ready to go live. The next thing to note is that Clinicate actually works in three different provinces. So um, this right here is an Alberta instance. Uh, if I click B, it's going to bill into um, a Clinicate program that connects to Alberta's H-Link system for uh, medical billing to Alberta Health. Um, Oscar does not have a billing program that's native in Alberta. So if you are an Alberta practitioner and you want to be able to bill through your Oscar EMR, um, Clinicaid is an option for you. Um, it also works in Ontario. Uh, it's a fully automated billing process in Ontario using the new MCEDT web service, um, which will automate the um, submission of your OHIP files and automate the uh, remittance gathering and, uh, and other OHIP file uh, gathering and importing that into your Clinicate instance automatically. So you don't have to worry about ever again uploading or downloading any OHIP files. And then the third province is in BC, uh, which we just launched uh, in 2014. And uh, in BC it automates the submission and reject gathering as well. Uh, it also gives you better private invoicing and uh, inventory management if that's something that that's important to you. And as you'll see it's uh, just a very friendly a uh, user-friendly interface that's going to result in less missed billing opportunities. So let's go ahead and create a bill here. Uh, from Oscar again, I just click the B button and it's going to log me right into my Clinicaid instance. Um, you don't have to enter login information, it just automatically logs you in. <coughs> uh, again, this is an Alberta inv in instance, so it's going to um, choose my default invoice type of Alberta. If I wanted to create a private invoice, I can do that here as well, but we're just going to leave an Alberta type. Um, in the code box here, I can enter in my service code. Um, I'm going to do a really simple bill. This is the most commonly billed thing as a 0303A, just a, a regular office visit. And then under, under diagnostic code, I'm going to use one of my favorites and I'm just going to go streptococcal sore throat. 
and I'm going to click Add, leave today's date, and I have one line item now associated with this bill. You can see the patient information flowed in from Oscar, as did the provider information. Uh, John Heathcote was the provider here, so he's the one that selected. And I can just click Save, and it saves the bill. Uh, it gives me a little success message here, and I can then move on and uh, do my next bill. I can either bill right through Clinicaid, and I can add the patient in here. Clinicaid saves that patient information, so if I do a look up here for that patient, um, they're going to show up, and I can bill for J. Esquire again if I would like. Um, if I go back to Oscar now, and if I refresh the page, you'll notice that this appointment has turned to build, so Oscar does keep a record of which appointments have been billed for. Um, the second way I can bill for J. Esquire is by going into the master file, and I can actually just click the create invoice link right here and it's going to pull up Clinicaid again. All the patient information again is going to flow into the right hand side and the provider information is going to show up here as well. Uh, you can see that this time it's Dr. Doe because this one's not associated with an appointment um, and the patient's doctor is Dr. Doe. Um, this doctor has not been fully set up in Clinicaid um, you can see that they have no skill code or business arrangement, but I can easily go and add that information in the preferences section of Clinicaid. So next we're going to head on over to manage invoices and we're going to take a quick look at the invoice that we just created here. Um, you can see all the information about the bill, the service code, the diagnostic code. If I wanted to view the bill again, I can click this little eye icon. If I wanted to edit the bill, I can click the blue icon here and I can make any modifications that I want to it. When I'm ready to send it off, I can just uh, check the checkbox beside all of the invoices and I can send them all off on a as a batch. Or I can click this little green arrow and it'll send this invoice off all by itself. Once I send the invoice off, it's going to head over to this pending category, and it's going to sit in the pending category uh, until we receive a response, in this case from Alberta, uh, which happens on a weekly basis. Um, in our Ontario accounts, um, if we don't receive a rejection file within the next couple days, we uh, get a full remittance once a month, and in British Columbia, it's twice a month. Um, if you wanted to view all your invoices, you can just head on over to the All tab, and it'll show you everything that's been created between the date ranges selected and if I uh, go back and I check like an earlier date it's going to show me a whole bunch of invoices um, here. Now I'm going to log out for just a quick sec of this Clinicaid demo instance and just um, for variety here I'm going to log into an Ontario instance which is uh, if you were, had an Ontario Oscar this is where you'd be logging into. Um, when I go to the create invoice form, you can see the codes here are all different, um, having Ontario codes A001A. Uh, the line item here is different. Uh, there's no fee modifiers uh, other than a percentage modifier and an override. And I can uh, select diagnostic codes that are associated with, uh, with OHIP here and click add and I can add a line item there. If I go to the manage invoices section in Ontario, you can see it's uh, very similar to the one in uh, Alberta. And if I go to the payment due, um, I can see some of the private invoices that I've created in here. Um, just wanted to show this one. So this has two different service codes that have been that have been built on this private invoice. If I want to view it, I can click the little view icon. It'll show me um, invoice details and any payments that have been made here and an outstanding balance. And if I wanted to print off a receipt, I can just click the print button. And uh, you can see uh, it's printed off an invoice here for this uh, little test clinic. If inventory management was something that was important to you, uh, you can handle that under the admin section. You can go down to um, private billing and underneath your custom service codes you can add uh, stock numbers. So if I wanted I could edit this chart copy. Uh, that's not a good one. Um, let's go with Oh, there's nothing good here for products. Um, I'll create a new one called a um, just something simple um, and I'll give it a price of ten dollars and I'll say that it's taxable and I'll give a stock level of ten and then what's gonna happen is um, uh, here's all my stock ones uh, once the a bill is created and one of these uh, codes is used, code for pills, uh, it's going to de 
decrease that stock level by one. And uh, anytime I want, I can come in and I can reset that stock level in the system. Clinic Aid as well comes stock with a referral provider database um, in each province in Alberta. Uh, we get a database from Alberta Health and Wellness um, twice a year. In Ontario, we build our own referral database and we get one actually quite regularly in BC. Um, so you can use our um, stock referral um, database when creating invoices. So under the referral ID for referral practitioners, you can just type in a name and uh, you know all of the referral practitioners that match that will show up. You can search by name or by number. You can also add your own um, referral practitioners in the admin system here. So if I go admin referral providers, um, I can add a referral provider like that and I can give them a name and click save. And uh, now when I create invoices, uh, this referral practitioner shows up by, um, at the top of my list with a little star beside it. So uh, it gives you lots of options for managing uh, referral practitioners uh, in your particular province. So aside from an integration with uh, Oscar EMR, we actually have integrations in beta with two other EMR systems, uh, one being Docs Podiatry and another for Revolution EHR, which is an optometry uh, uh, electronic record system um, that is becoming quite popular. Uh, and we're always looking to integrate with other EMR softwares. Um, I hope you found this video useful and uh, talk to you soon.